this video. I'll try to install Haskell um, by following a tutorial I wrote a while ago on Medium. So uh, let me bring up uh, the browser, my browser. Okay. So search Medium. Uh, install Haskell on Mac OS. Okay. Yeah, this one. So January. Oh, it's the beginning of this year. It's like that. So I. When, yeah, I wrote this tutorial uh, based on an old, a very old MacBook uh, of mine. So, but today I got a new MacBook Pro. So, and this is my computer. We can compare this. So, yeah. It's MacBook, yeah. Oh. This one is from yeah last year, and uh, the Mac OS is the latest, Catalina version ten point fifteen point five. Okay, now let's get started. Yeah, so make sure. Oh, I'll bring up my terminal. Okay. So terminal, yeah, control plus sign to increase the window and the uh, window size and the font. Now, so uh, let's change this. Um, let me change this prompt to something fun okay so export and uh, p um, okay <laughs> i forgot the syntax so let's google uh, how to change terminal prompt How to change your prompt? Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, PS1 equal to something. Export PS1 equals. Okay, uh, I'll use a golden thumb. So Control Command Space thumb. Yeah, this one. Okay. Double click, double click. What? It's not there. Put the space there and try it again. Control, Command, Space. Some double click. Oh, okay, yes, now enter, you see? So let's try some ls, it means list the files here, okay? pwd is my, uh, well, yeah, this is my current location or uh, in the file system so what do I want to do okay let's go back to our so I can close that close that and uh, make sure I don't have a GHCI the Haskell environment and the homebrew okay so of course GHCI CI, no, and uh, brew, 
do it do i have a brew no there's no brew so of course i cannot run brew install ghc so it means i'm uh, here is a perfect candidate to follow this uh tutorial i guess uh, even though the Mac OS version is newer than the one in my tutorial, those should still work, the tutorial. So install homebrew first. I'll copy this. I found this on the internet, so I can just copy that and paste here and run. Password, that's my computer password press enter to continue or any other key to ever enter so now it's working download the command okay downloading command line 204 x code yeah mm. so this is my machine and I think I can make this even smaller yeah to save some space like that okay so maybe oh installing command tool for okay it's faster than my then my expectation installing command tool and what's next so i did press return and type in logic uh, login password and press enter yeah that's the password of my computer it took about 20 minutes okay so let me pause the video and I'll come back when yeah I arrived when I arrived this this step hopefully my new machine can finish it sh sooner than my very very old about 10 years old uh, MacBook MacBook Air this one receiving files updating files 100 percent oh nice so i guess here xcode yeah i already have xcode installed in my new computer that's why i don't have that i yeah so what is this then it failed um oh so i already yeah installed uh, xcode stuff on my new machine so i don't need that more downloads so if you already have your uh, xcode installed on your mac computer then i think you should arrive here next step run blue help yeah i think blue is is okay what is that so keep going install or successfully that's the x code here now what is that this time it works like charm what works with oh here i can try okay yeah now we arrived at this point so let's test it um b-r-e-w blue yes there is something now we have a blue with home brew it's easy to install haskell so what brew install ghc okay it's called glasgow uh, haskell compiler yeah let's google it 
What is GHC? GHC stands for Yeah, this one Glasgow Glasgow Haskell compiler. Yeah. So let's close it. Blue install GHC. Hopefully it will work. Install GHC. Enter. Updating GHC. No, updating blue home blue. Yeah. Let me put it back here. Sorry if you see some uh, button cut in the previous minutes, right? Because yeah, I forgot to adjust the the height of my uh, my window. Okay. Um, what's next? Make sure Haskell works. So that's type ghci. Ghci. Prelude. Is it prelude? Sorry for my English. How to spell that? How to pronounce? Prelude. 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 Mm-hmm. Prelude. Prelude. Yeah, it's the prompt of GHCI default one. We can change that. And let's try pi. Yeah. And let's try exponential exponent of one. Oh, that's the E. Yeah. So how to quit it? Colon Q, right? And enter again, GHCI. And uh, quit again. Yeah. So now you can enter and quit GHCI uh, the Haskell environment freely and if you love numbers as much as me as I do you can use oh cable cable to install Haskell package numbers okay let's do it so brew install couple dash install okay so brew install couple install it's a weird name what oh sorry a typo you see yeah Hmm. Oh, it's done. It's fast. Now what? Run cabal or cabal. How to pronounce it? Is that is it an English name? Uh, let's check. C A B A L. Oh yes, it's an English word. Cabal. 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 So prelude. Prelude. Cabal. Sorry, I just learned two English word. Prelude. 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 Cabal. Okay, cabal. So I need to do uh, cabal update. Okay. Cabal update. Downloading the latest package list from Hackage Haskell.org. 
run cabal update to download the latest package list from this one yeah so pretend to install numbers yeah we need this package numbers that will give us um like an integer right uh, with unlimited uh, digits wow that's amazing oh it's done so what's next let's try to install numbers okay but try try means we pretend to do that it will yeah check if it will work or not so cabal install try numbers unrecognized install option try i guess yeah double dash 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 try mm. building yeah in order okay i think we'll install this one right library so now let's do it without the dry it will install the actual thing number dash the three thousand dot yet yeah, i guess those are version numbers oh start build okay warning you asked to install executable but there's no accessible in number let's see oops okay no problem we do want to install library oh okay haha <laughs> so that's why a tutorial is variables no one can memorize all the details here um lib up to date okay so now with c real we can show 100 digits of pi so much fun pi e lambda zeta ha 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 okay pi e lambda lambda uh what's that um uh, is yeah zeta function zeta yeah c real so how can we do that let's try uh let's go into ghci now we have um import yeah we need to do this import data number import data dot number sorry number dot cr real yeah oh the prompt change to this right that's uh, the feature of uh jgci now let's try pi and uh, with that colon colon real that's it means we want to show pi in c real uh type wow very long right but this is the diff default length of c real and here is the real font show c real 100 digit of pi so show um c real 100 pi what shows you okay a typo again yes yes oh it's done there so this is me golden sun 